For this video today, we are going to look at two simple methods for how to transfer a photocopied image from paper to wood. Ta -da! Hello gamers and crafts people, Matthew here from Grey Army Gaming in lovely Loon, Sweden. I have a few projects that I'd like to be beginning soon and a part of these uh, projects involve transferring an image from photocopied paper over to wood. And I've been researching a bit of the different methods for how to do this and I've landed upon two that I want to try today. The image I'm going to be using is this one right here. It's just a simple red D&D &D logo. And I'm going to try two different methods. The first one is going to be using a hot iron where you basically just scrape the image onto the wood. And the second will be using Liquitex as a medium and where I try to put the image on there and then scrape the paper away. So these are the two methods that we're going to try out today. We'll, um, we'll do both of them and then give you a comparison of the results of both. For this project now, we're just going to use a normal piece of paper that we got from our copy machine. And it's important that you prepare your surface by sanding it down and making it nice and smooth. That will make the transfer a lot easier. And we're going to take the paper now and flip it over. Obviously, you want to have a mirror image when you're going to be transferring because it will be flipping around on the opposite direction. Put down some tape on one end so that you have the image in one place. And then we'll go ahead and turn up our iron all the way to its highest setting. Be sure that you have no water in there. You don't want steam coming out of your iron when you carry out this process. So once you're ready then, you can go ahead and start to just apply heat. We're gonna apply some force as well and do some rubbing, uh, some scraping. It's the combination of the heat and the pressure that will help to transfer that ink over from the paper onto the wood. And we can go ahead now and take a look at it, pull it back, and you see that we haven't quite got all of the ink across yet. So we'll go ahead and put the paper back down and do a little bit more ironing. That's why it's really good to have at least one side there taped down so you can make sure that you keep the same position. And we'll go ahead now and do a little more ironing and draw with the iron, put some pressure down, scrape, uh, and get it nice and warm. But let's take a look at it now when we're all finished up. Pull it off, and here you see we have a pretty nice transfer. Of course, like I said, you'll want to have a mirror image when you actually print it off so that it comes out in the proper direction. But you can see here the colors look pretty good, a bit soft, a bit gentle, but everything came off of the paper nicely onto the wood. For this method now, we're going to go ahead and use some matte varnish, uh, the basic Liquitex. We're going to apply it to the entire wood here. And then we're going to take our image and put it upside down onto the Liquitex. For this example, we're going to just go ahead and fill up the entire piece of wood here, making sure that we get everything uh, brushed on nicely. And go ahead and smoothen it out. You don't want bumps and bubbles in your Liquitex. Get it nice and smooth. Uh, maybe a sponge would work better than a brush for this, but I use a brush and it worked just fine. Now let's go ahead and put our paper down with the ink down obviously and get it in place there and I found it was really helpful to take a plastic card and go over the top of it now and to just pull it out to bring out any bubbles or anything and let's set our timer we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for 15 minutes before we actually try to take it off so 15 minutes have gone by now and we can see that the Liquitex um, is pretty dry. It's a little sticky yet, but um, it's dried for the most part. I can't quite pull the paper off and that's a good sign. Uh, I would recommend waiting a little bit longer than 15 minutes, but I just wanna see how this process works after 15 minutes. So the next step we're going to do now is just throw it on a little bit of plastic here, get out some paper towels, some water, and an old toothbrush that we're gonna be using to try and brush off the paper. Go ahead and get your toothbrush wet. Take off uh, any of the excess water. You don't want too much to start out with. And just gently start brushing on the back there with the paper. I noticed here when I did this example, I brushed a little bit too hard. Uh, the Liquitex wasn't quite dry enough, so I actually got a bit of the ink that came off. Uh, so just be careful that you brush really gently and maybe wait a little bit longer than 15 minutes. Maybe a half an hour would be better. But you can see here now, uh, the paper's coming off nicely and the image is starting to come through. The ink is now set into the Liquitex and the paper has come off. 
When we look here though, you can see there's still a bit of the paper you can see around the edges. I'd have to do a bit more scrubbing. And you can see here the places where I scrubbed a little too hard, the ink came off there. Now when we look at the comparison between these two, I think both methods work quite well. Here's the first one with the iron, and you see it's quite a soft, quite a gentle look. It has a more um, integration into the wood. It's a really good transfer. I can't really scratch any of it off, so I'm quite pleased with that. Very subtle look. Uh, if you're going for something a little more rustic and antique, that's the look for you. Here's the other side here. Um, this is very brilliant, very bright. Uh, that turned out nicely as well. Uh, of course, there's a few scratches there um, that I, uh, I think I brushed a little bit too hard. Here, we can scrape off a little bit of this one. That's probably because the Liquitex needed to dry a little bit longer. But all in all, if you're going to be putting a clear varnish over the top of that, I think it will be just fine. You don't have to worry about scratching anything off. So all in all, both were pretty good transfers. Well, there you have it folks, two different methods for how to transfer a photocopied image from paper over to wood. Now, I was pleasantly surprised with both of these methods. Both of them looked pretty good. And the one that you want to go with, I guess, really depends upon what you're looking for as a final result. With the iron, we had a bit of a more subtle image, softer, uh, more integrated into the wood. On the other hand, with the Liquitex, we had a sharper, brilliant, uh, brighter kind of image that really popped from the wood. And it's really up to you to which one of these kind of aesthetics you are looking to use in your projects. In the future, I think I'm probably going to go ahead with the iron method because I want to have a bit more of a rustic, a bit more of a subtle look on the projects that I will be carrying out. Go ahead and check for some videos in the future about that where I can show you the steps that I take to try and realize those projects. If this video has been helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up. If not, give us a thumbs down. But regardless, thank you for joining us here today at Grey Army Gaming for the future of fantasy.